late, late 70s, early 80s, you were running the lights out uh, on the track, on the roads, uh, on the trails. Um, but you had a lot of competition too. You had Ed Eyestone, you had uh, Salazar was certainly a, a player there. Greg Meyer um, was a player. Don't forget Frank Shorter and Frank Gary, Gary Bjorklund. Prefontaine was, you were, you were breaking Prefontaine's records right. at that time. But I only ran against Prefontaine in person once. And that was the NCAA meet my freshman year. And it was his red shirt senior year. And it was at Spokane. He finished first, ran down Nick Rose. I finished 10th. I was a little disappointed in my race. And he, and he pulled it out in front of the Northwest fans. Um, two years later, I ran down Nick Rose. But that's the only time I ran the same race as Prefontaine. But you broke some of Prefontaine's records. Yes. Which, you know, probably as many as any American ever did. From high school on. Right. Which, which and, and he was my hero. Because of, you know, not because of his lifestyle off the track. Prefontaine was my hero from the way he would aggressively attack the races, grind out fast times, even if there was no rabbit. He didn't need a rabbit. And, and, and then he could grind it from three laps out, especially in 72, as good as anybody did. George Young was right with him. He was a veteran, miler, two miler, 3,000 meter guy, 5,000 meter guy, and a young, brash Oregonian. And Prefontaine ran like a, I don't know, a 304 for the last 1,200 meters of that race, and that was just enough to put George away, and it caused the crowd at Eugene to go into pandemonium, and that's when they broke out the Scott Priestley. But he was, he was certainly free, and uh, Frank Shorter, and to some degree Bill Rogers were the guys when I was coming up, and Marty LaCroix, that helped set the pace, they set the bar that Americans could not only be good in this country, but they could also be competitive overseas. And we could be medal contenders. But if you gotta go back to 64, we won the 5,000 with Bob Shule, the 10,000 with Billy Mills, and we did pretty darn good in the 1500, I think. And then there were a couple of marathons of uh, uh, gold and a uh, silver with Frank Shorter, uh, 68, uh, 72, 76. But for a long time, but not a lot of depth. Right. But now fast forward to where we are today. So our, our, you, you used to compete against mainly Europeans, Nick Rhodes and uh, and I know the West German in the World Championships uh, was 